This is the city of Goma in Congo. Not only known for the Nyiragongo volcano, but also famous for these incredible wooden scooters. Wooden scooters have been around since the 19th century. Around the same time, motorized scooters were invented. Over the years, scooter technology has advanced, but there is a type of scooter that has retained its uniqueness and is still in use today. It's known as a chikudu. Meet David, one of the chikudu riders in Goma town. These chikudus don't have an engine. They are manually pushed and you need a hundred dollars to build or get one. Typically, it takes one to three days to make, and they can last for two to three years with daily use. Crafted from mumba, eucalyptus wood, and recycled materials. But why choose the chikudu? Are they used for the same reasons as regular scooters? I would say no. Chikudus are mainly used for carrying goods and bags for local businesses, and not just simple loads, but much more than you may expect. A large chukudu can carry a weight of up to 800 kilograms. It's now a job for many, earning a living for their families. The main issue with this is that they need more effort to push. So not everyone can ride them like regular scooters. While some people in Goma earn their living by using these chikudus, there are also frequently recorded accidents which leads people to be very careful while riding them. But despite all that, people love and enjoy riding these chikudus. It's not just about making a living, but they also hold a special place in people's lives and culture. They represent hard work and hope. Sadly, the tradition of chikudus is disappearing in some areas. It's not just about lacking income. Instead, in Goma, there are now more vehicles that can carry bags and goods more efficiently and reach destinations on time. 